in Singapore is quite different from that in well-established guide dog usage countries like in you know, US or UK. Here we still have a lot of work to do. The association was formed in 2005, uh, but uh, although we've been trying to get public awareness uh, and more public awareness in this country, we still need to have a lot of work uh, to do before guide dogs are widely accepted. Uh, we often see people storming you know, our guide dog teams and MRT <laughs> and in shopping centres uh, where they go, um, in spite of the fact that guide dogs are allowed by legislation in Singapore to go into public places like shopping centres and, and public transport. If a, our guide dog team do go to a place where there is not yet consent, they should uh, explain to the owner or to the uh, person in charge of the shop at that time that this is acceptable. Uh, if, they, if they don't understand that, perhaps uh, it's better to uh, talk to the owner because a lot of people who are in charge of shops are not owners and they don't want to get fired or they want to get scolded if the owner actually don't want the dogs in there. Uh, so it's not, I think it is not a, a good thing to confront shopkeepers, you know, but we should approach owners and get consent in that direction.